Hi, everyone. I just wanted to ask a little bit about the Trent Fox life and his personal journey. Obviously, you've been in three different stints with the club and it's been this way into the fold. So, what was it like with him in training and obviously getting, getting a game time? Yeah, Trent's a. He's a valuable asset to the club, obviously a homegrown boy and uh, you know he's been used in, uh, in, his, in his short career in many different positions and um, he had to do a job for us tonight at wing back with, um, with Berkey, you know, playing his first game in, in months, like six, seven, eight months, whatever it is. Um, so look, I thought all in all, I thought Trent stepped into the fray in a pretty difficult time of the game and I thought um, there were certainly some positives in his performance and uh, He's another one of our homegrown talents that we're, we're really trying to develop and push forward. What were your thoughts on the game, Ruben? Did you think it was a fair result? Oh, I thought the game should have been buried, to be honest, at half time. We, um, you know, we knew that they'd have a little bit of the ball. They like to rotate and move the ball. Um, but when we talk about click cut chances, like, let's call it for what it is 3 4 nil first half, 3 or 4 1 first half would have been fair. Um, we missed some real clear-cut chances and some opportunities to put them to the sword, and that would have been the game dead and buried. Once you don't take those chances, then obviously it gives them a little bit of hope and something to to keep chasing. And um, you know, credit to them in in terms of you know them coming back twice. Um, but to concede late, disappointing. I thought, yeah, looking at the game, I'm sure I'm not I'm not huge on stats, but I'm sure if you look at them, you know, we've had the better of the chances, more corners, more penalty box entries, more final third entries. We peppered them and probably should have won. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a pretty end-to-end -end game, if I'm honest. I thought there were a lot of chances, and most of them ours. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure about uh, their midfield or, or what they did. I thought that we created plenty and should have won. Amini went off, um, looked like a, a hamstring or a quad. Um, was, was he, obviously he stayed on for a little bit there. Was he, was he all right? Uh, not sure. I have to speak with the medical team. Um, Musti's, uh, you know, he's a very valuable player for us and, a, and an amazing leader. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed on that one. We haven't had too much luck uh, in the last couple of weeks with, with some injuries to key players. Um, losing Salim, losing uh, Clears to suspension, losing McInef, um, losing Johnny Katrumbas this week. Um, we've had to, had to have some players step up to the plate, which is a massive positive for me. Um, again, tonight we had yeah, a few homegrown players, young Joseph Ford, you know, playing at left wing back, a right-footed player who... Um, I thought he handled himself exceptionally well, um, given the task at hand. Um, Jacob Dowson, Keegan Jelicic, two young, you know, MPL talents that we've that we've plucked out of out of that sphere, and you know they're quickly becoming uh, top top players at this level, and still a long way to go, and still uh, so much improvement. So, yeah, there were some some uh, some real positives in terms of some of the guys that stepped up to the plate, you know, with some forced changes through injury, but uh, yeah, still yeah, a little bit disappointed inside that dressing room because we felt like we should have won. Hundred percent, you know, if the game is dead and buried, you know, you're not in that position. Um, you know, we really could have, we really could have had them, uh, had them on the back foot first half, and um, yeah, not taking those chances just leaves the game in the balance a little bit. And I thought, you know, we struggled for probably the first five or ten minutes of the first half, and same in the second half. But I thought, other than that, we we created plenty and should have won. The the goal at the end is obviously just a little bit of a mix up, you know, with young Dowsey there learning learning his uh, trade in the limelight, under stadium lights, and uh, you know that's what you get with young players. But um, we'll certainly uh, rally around him, rally around Cookie, and uh, it's a collective. You know, So we don't look at it like an individual mistake. We look at it like an area to improve. And uh, in this rebuilding phase, that's that's always the focus. Just on Keegan Yellow, she's obviously strung together a number of impressive performances in a row. How important is it for him as a young, attacking creator to be able to get in Fantastic. Uh, fantastic player. I think it's pretty clear for everyone to see that. Um, he'd, he'd be one of the brightest prospects in this country, if I'm honest. Cheers.